Hi, I'm Tracy Fletcher King and I'm going to talk you through um, some packaging illustration and artwork that I created for a company called The Tea Spot, which has the most delicious teas. I've been working with them for a bit over a year now and happily that means I also get to drink enormous amounts of the tea while I'm working. Um, and at this stage all I'm doing is inking in. Now the whole thing is sped up hugely because otherwise it would almost be an epic um, movie in length. So, but basically all I'm doing is I've roughly sketched things in in pencil and now I'm inking up. So once I get the, everything in place, I get in I start laying down some basic colour. Now I work by creating layers of watercolour um, and this is a collage style. This reflects the image that was right at the beginning of the video which is some um, a design that I did for um, the T-Spot's Twitter feed and also has been used in some packaging. Um, so we wanted to recreate that style. Um, in this case it's in greens but I also did another one in red tones. But all of them matching together in style. So even though they're in different colour um, families, they still have to work together. So um, what I'm doing is I've drawn it up, I'm laying down those first colour ideas and basically just trying to get little bits of colour here and there. I work over the whole page. I don't draw and paint one thing in and then go back and do another. I actually work over the whole page and I find that way I get a lot more cohesion in the work. And here I'm just, this is an urban tea tumbler which has like a cork um, wrapping around it to protect your hand which is a little bit tricky to paint as it turns out. Um, and this is the Boulder Blues Tea Tin. So what I'm doing now is I'm just starting to add in that next layer of colour. I let that first layer set really strong, like make sure it's super dry and then I can start adding in the stronger colour. And from here I tend to work um, a little bit more all over the, the page still, but I tend to work a bit quicker. I don't let it dry as much in between. And the paper there under my arm is just because it's incredibly humid still here and any um, grease or anything off your arm will damage the paper so you've got to be a little bit careful in these early stages with the watercolour. If you're working in acrylics and things that's not a problem but with watercolour it is. So I'm just laying down um, the paint and the design actually goes beyond the framework that I needed to do. I find if I do that then um, it looks a lot fresher. If I try and cut it all off right at the edge, um, it never looks as good. I don't know why it, it is the case, but it, it is definitely the case. And now what I'm doing is I'm starting to lay down some colour in the background. Now this is where my heart does start to beat a little bit quicker. Not so much now, I've done this style of work a lot, but even still it sort of makes me go, oh, am I mucking it up? sort of thing but basically what I'm doing is I'm adding in strong colour here. Now the difficulty when you've got a lot of random things on a page, well not random, they're a family of things but even still you've, you've got to bring them together and make them look as though they belong together and I do that by using a background that pulls them all together. Um, I'm not using a lot of overlapping here or things like that that you would normally use to denote things as a family. So what I'm doing is I'm adding in lots of colour in the background, making sure there's blues and greens, adding in some of the, the logos and tags that um, the T-Spot use. And even though it's really quite strong at this stage, once I start adding in the white gouache, it all gets knocked back. And at this stage, it's all about sort of a, it's a real um, push and pull, you know. I'll push in some white paint and then I'll pull back a bit of, watercolour into it and sort of it's a real process and as I said I have done it quite a bit before and the lovely thing about gouache and watercolour is that um, the gouache softens the watercolour but because they're still in that same family of paints they work together really beautifully. So this is all about sort of adding in some white, adding back in some more colour so I sort of knock it back and then strengthen it again. And you'll see this is, it's quite a process. This is sort of me making sure all these things work together, making sure they all belong together, picking up a little bit of the white gouache into the white of the objects. It's all about sort of creating a cohesive whole. 
And what I do is I work around the entire piece. I keep turning the piece partly because at this stage I am working while things are still wet and that way I don't smudge anything. But also it helps it stay fresh and it sort of helps everything come together. I find that when I'm doing that, when I'm just adding in bits here and there and sort of looking at it as a whole, it definitely ends up looking like a more cohesive work at the end. And also I'm incredibly impatient so it allows me to keep working. Now at this stage the background's kind of in so it's time to start adding some paint details and sort of because a lot of the objects start to sink into the background you need to start strengthening them up again and also starting to add a few darker areas. It's hard to know how dark to go before you get the background in and you don't want to define them before the background's in because you want to make sure again that they all go together. So at this stage you know I'm tightening up some things, I'm adding some darks, I'm trying to get some things to sort of pop out that I feel as though they're, they're maybe um, sinking into the background a little bit. I'm making sure that um, things look rounded and three-dimensional and as though they're sort of floating through that background but at the same time I still want them to look painted. I don't want them to look hyper realistic. This should look like a, an artwork and sometimes I go too far like that little shadow and then I knocked it back with some white and again that's sort of the joy of working in this style is I can knock them back and bring them back and it, by this stage it really is all about the details. I'm adding in details of paint um, I start working a bit of pen. I add in some silver paint to the 10% um, symbol which is the T-Spot give 10% to Cancer Wellness and as a survivor that just makes them an even better company to work for in my book but part, quite apart from the fact that the teas are delicious and, and Maria is just such a pleasure to have in my life but now I'm, I'm getting to the meat of it. This is all about adding pen, adding in the really dark and you can see how immediately they start to pop off the page. Um, it's you know you've sort of got to be quite fearless here with the darks and sort of really start to add definition to things um, and make sure that everything is looking as it should. Now what we decided in the final design, now I'm just adding in some little white dots and a few white highlights, um, what we decided is to extend the design. So when you see right at the end you'll see there's another urban tea tumbler and I've extended it all the way past the, the steeping mug there just to give them some more options for the packaging. Um, and But you don't see that in the video but you will see it at the end. But I've worked exactly the same way as I did here. I just added some in. And again, that's the joy of working this way is you can sort of keep building things up and adding things and you know, I'm adding a bit more paint there, just livening up the background which started to sink a bit as I um, redefined the objects, then the background looked a bit bland. So it's a very much a push and pull this whole process. So, but now I'm adding in really strong lines. Now, because everything's just sort of floating, you need things to pull them together. And also I want to sort of, I want there to be energy. I want this to feel as though it's really fresh and as though the objects have a bit of energy. I don't want them to look static on the page. And so using some expressive lines not doesn't just help bring them together, but also gives it that energy. No, and that's certainly what I think about when, when I drink the tea. It's, it's very much about creating the energy of the company and the product. So I'm pretty much in the finishing stages now. Very much like you, I usually go back and do one last little few little touches with the pen and a few little touches with the paint. But then it's pretty much done. And what you'll see is the final, final product coming up in a moment. And I hope you've really enjoyed this. I've had a great time making it and I hope you've loved it as well. So I'll see you next time.